Hey guys, my name is Michael Gutton. I'm a 2022 outfielder here at Roosevelt High School. I'm going to NC State, and this is what's in my bag. So um, let's start with the bats. So uh, actually, no, let's start with the bag. This is a Rawlings bat bag. Uh, I got it at PG National. Um, it's just a nice quality bag. It's big enough to hold all my stuff in. So this is what I use on the regular. Uh, so my bats, I'll start with this one over here. This is my metal bat. I swing a 33, this is a 3330 DeMarini Goods. Um, this is what I swing at school ball. Uh, like it a lot. I chose it because it's, you know, slightly balanced, but a little bit of end load. Um, has a nice thin handle. I like thin handles. So um, yeah, has some pretty good juice. So that's why I choose that. Uh, next up, this is my training bat. Um, it's just a, a stick of bamboo with a barrel, basically. Uh, just make sure this is, this makes me make sure that um, I get plenty of barrels. You know, uh, just you know, I use it for one-handed drills, T drills all that stuff, you know, just basically all my drills is what I use instead of a regular bat, just to get that, you know, double-edged sword of not only the benefits of the drills, but hitting the ball in the barrel as well. Um, it's 33 inches, got some grip. So yeah, I love this thing. This is my secondary bat. I got a Louisville Power Rise C271. Um, this is a 3330 as well. Uh, it took me a while to find the wood bat that I like, but um, I would say this is my second favorite. Um, it's actually what I started with whenever, whenever I started using wood bats. Um, it's very balanced. Um, it's a pretty good weight. Literally probably the most balanced wood bat you're gonna get. Um, has it's good wood, it's good juice, and uh, I really like black wood bats. Like all my wood bats have to have some black in them. So this one I like a lot. Uh, it's maple. So yeah, C two seven one. Next up is a primary wood bat. This is my Victus JC twenty four. Uh, this is actually my second one. I broke my other one. It broke my heart, so I had to get another one. Um, yeah, again, black, very balanced, but this one just has a little bit of end load, um, just a tad bit more than the C271. It's a 3330 and um, maple, of course. And yeah, this is this is my main bat. Um, slight flare on the knob, um, medium handle. That one's a little bit thinner. But yeah, this is probably my favorite bat. Uh, I like to use this thing all the time as much as I can. And uh, yeah, like this. All right, moving to the inside of the bag, let's see here. I have BioFreeze. This stuff is a game changer. Um, I have to warm up a lot before my games, practices, anything. So this stuff just kind of heats up or cools my muscles. Um, it, you know, gets me nice and loose, uh, along with tons of stretching, you know, it just helps me a lot. I just use it on my legs, arms, shoulders. It really, nothing has to be hurting for me to use this. You know, that's what it's for, but it just helps me get really loose and, you know, really perform at the level I need to perform at. Um, I have a foam roller. 
this thing, uh, I invested in this maybe a couple weeks ago. Um, you know, just another thing to help me get loose, just to roll up my muscles, get good blood flow. I use this on my back, legs, quads, um, hamstrings, calves, you know, anything that needs to be rolled out. Um, it helps a lot. It's pretty hard. Um, just really gets the blood flow going in my legs. Let me get loose, run fast. Uh, next up, we have my massage gun. Um, I invested into this maybe a year ago. Um, you know, they got really popular, so I had to get one. Um, yeah, this is mine. I usually use the, the ball attachment. Uh, usually works the best for me. And, you know, I just, again, just to help blood flow get to my muscles, help me get real loose, and really help me perform at a high level. Uh, I always keep some pine tar in my bag. Uh, this is Tiger Stick. Um, when I was introduced to pine tar, I actually hated it. Uh, it took me a long time to come around, but I just tacked it on my tacked it on my bat one day and never went back since. So yeah, this stuff was a game changer for me. Uh, I use Tiger Stick just because it's easy, it's fast, it's easy to you know carry around. Um, I've tried liquid pine tar and rosin and stuff, but uh, you know in the heat of a game, I just need some grip, tack it on, and I'm good to go. Uh, one thing is just a simple baseball. Um, I just always keep a ball or two in my bag because you never know, you know when you're gonna need a couple balls. Uh, you know sometimes. The, cage, the coaches are still in the cages with the ball, so we want to go ahead and get it throwing. So I always have a couple balls with me, and uh, yeah. This is a low seam ball. I love low seams. I'm not a big fan of high seams. Uh, so yeah, baseball. Next up, we have my Oakleys. Um, yeah, I'm blessed enough to have a pair of Oakleys, but these shades are great. They were another game changer for me. Um, you know, me being an outfielder, uh, looking up at the sky basically all the time and the sun and stuff, you know, so in all conditions, I can wear these rain, snow, light or shine, uh, you know, they help a lot. And even in tough conditions, they help to highlight the ball. So um, I chose Oakley just because they're durable, very popular sports brand. I like the colors of them. I actually call these the infrareds, you know, um, so uh, yeah. I've probably broken these like three times, but I like Oakley so much that because you can put them right back together, you know. So, yeah, Oakley's love these things. So, next up, I have our glove. My glove. Um, this is a Wilson A2K. Uh, this is a 12 and a half, 12.5 uh, trapeze web. I like this glove a lot. I feel like 12.5 is the perfect size just for me to, you know, get those balls, but also, you know, still be very agile, put my glove away if I need to run and stuff. Uh, is I like this colorway just because, you know, the tan and black can never go wrong with it. This will probably be the colorway I use for like the rest of my life. <laughs> like, God, the other thing looks so clean. Maybe some accents, but. Yeah, this is my glove. I've had this thing for a while and it's never failed me. Got some, I got some batting gloves. Uh, these are pretty much like my practice gloves. I use these, you know, I'm hitting with stuff. These are USA baseball. These are Franklin's actually. Um, yeah, Franklin makes a really good glove. I like them a lot. And 
these are white you know, they're given to me so i use them these right here are another practice web i use um these are called under the hill uh they're very good they're sticky you know um whenever i just want a lot of grip especially since i don't use grip on my wood bats uh these are always help me get some really good grip i really don't even need to use pine tar with these so light feel you know so under the hills right here so going inside the bag uh first thing i have is my evo shield sliding mitt um i like to steal a lot so hand injuries are very common um so i had to get one of these to protect my hand i put this on my glove hand which is my left hand um this thing is good you know sliding back i just feel a lot more comfortable you know getting my hands in there without having to worry about a broken finger or a sprained wrist so it gives me a lot of support when i'm stealing bases and i really like it I have, okay, next up I have another pair of batting gloves. These are like my end game gloves, um, white Evo shields. I like these a lot because they're light, uh, they have really good grip and you know, they're durable. Uh, I think I've had these for like maybe even a few months uh, just cause I only use them in the game. Uh, I usually take them off once I get to first base, but you know, these last a while for me and they're not heavy, they're not hot so i really like these a lot and i get a lot of grip with these so evo shield white batting gloves again they were a gift so i use them uh, next up we have uh my g form elbow guard this thing is very comfortable i used to use a evo shield but i just got a g form out of nowhere and i've loved it ever since um i have a black one you know, I'm a firm believer of protecting yourself at the plate. You know, there's a lot of stuff that can go wrong, but having that elbow guard just, you know, really uh, makes you feel more comfortable in the box. Um, I've seen a lot of injuries happen, uh, not having one of these. So this is pretty much essential for me. Um, I have my name on the strap right here. Uh, got a custom, it's pretty cool. So, you know, everybody knows it's mine, but um, I've had this thing for, Pretty much my whole high school career, and uh, I like it a lot. So G form elbow guard. Next up, I have my Evo Shield helmet. Um, this one was is from the Astros. Uh, you know, it's a very comfortable helmet, very breathable, um, very good padding in the inside. Uh, I like white helmets. You know, usually. Well, sometimes I put a C flap up here, just depending how I'm feeling. But um, yeah, this one's it's nice, you know. It's actually really white. Uh, but uh, yeah, I like these Evo Shield helmets a lot. One more thing, it actually fell down here, but I always keep a snack in my bag, uh, whether it's some seeds or a granola bar, you know, something just to you know give me some carbs and give me some quick energy. Um, this is a kind bar, um, oats and honey, you know, something real quick. I could just pop it in my mouth, um, you know, coming in or something and with some water, you know, always have something to snack on in the dugout. And also, of course, I have, I always have water with me. Um, you know, you got to stay hydrated, especially on a day like today, you know, 95, 100 degree heat index. You just got to stay hydrated. Uh, you're literally pass out. So I always have those. And um, so these are my turf cleats. Uh, these are Adidas Addy Zero football cleats, actually. Um, I'm a big Adidas guy for my feet. Uh, I think Adidas makes a very solid cleat. Um, I'm a speed guy, so the lightest cleat possible I can get my hands on is the one I get. And this is the lightest one um, I could get. Um, yeah, I use these on turf, getting a great grip. Uh, I like the colorway, you know, they're white and black, you know, real simple, goes with everything. Um, so yeah, I like these a lot. And these are my spikes. Um, these are Adidas, Addy Zero, uh, Afterburner, I, I believe fives. But um, these are very light, again, Adidas, um, these are black, you know, goes with everything. 
uh, pretty stylish, you know, something just real simple, you know, real simple on the field, looks good with everything. Uh, these actually have a little bit of support, you know, for my knees and ankles and, and stuff. So a little bounce for, you know, uh, running. So I like these a lot. These are pretty much my go-to cleats, um, you know, never failed me once, so I keep using them. Thank you.